Hi, this Malgrave Outdoor Education video is going to look at sleeping bags and things that you should look out for when you're purchasing one. The first one is that you buy what is called a mummy sleeping bag. That means it has a hood at this end with a draw card to allow you to tighten the bag around your face. At the other end, it narrows down towards your feet and has a nice little toolbox to keep your feet warm. When it comes to what the bag is made of, there are two main options. One of them is a down fill, and the other one is a synthetic down fill. This example that we have here is a down sleeping bag. This is a down sleeping bag, and this is the exact same model of sleeping bag, but with a synthetic fill. The down sleeping bag compresses and packs a lot smaller than the synthetic sleeping bag. The disadvantage of a down sleeping bag is that if it gets wet, it loses almost all of its insulating qualities. A wet synthetic sleeping bag will continue to insulate well. So a few other things that you need to think about when you're purchasing the sleeping bag. Most sleeping bags will come in a short, a medium and a long option. Another thing to look out for is the temperature rating of the sleeping bag. Bags will range from as low as minus 30 to as high as plus 12. The rating scale indicates what air temperatures the bag will be comfortable to sleep in. So for example, this bag here has its rating on the label at the foot and it's rated as a minus 12 bag. That means in air temperatures of minus 12 degrees, you would be able to comfortably sleep inside this bag. Now, of course, that is a generic rating. Some people sleep a little bit colder and a little bit warmer. And so you may want to keep that in mind when purchasing your bag. Most of our Mulgrave trips require that students have a bag that is rated to at least minus five degrees. However, some of our winter trips require a bag that is rated to minus 12, like this one here. If you don't have a bag that is rated to minus 12, you may be able to use one of these, which is an overbag. This minus 12 degree bag with this five degree overbag would combined to give you a minus 17 degree sleeping bag. So that is a quick overview of things to look for when purchasing a sleeping bag for Mulgrave OE trips. Remember, look for a mummy sleeping bag with a hood, consider the temperature rating of the bag and the materials that it's made of. Thanks for watching.